Hey coaches, in today's video, I'm gonna explain how we run our Y stick concept. Hey coaches, Coach Mackey here and welcome to my channel. This channel is dedicated to the spread offense. And if you enjoy learning about the spread offense, then please smash that subscribe button. I put a video out every Saturday morning. And if you find this video helpful, then please give it a thumbs up. Now in today's video, I'm gonna go over how we do our Y stick concept. And it's a huge concept for us because we tag it to our RPO and it's also a straight quick game concept. Now if you do something different with the Y stick, especially if you do it out of different formations, then please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from y'all. All right coaches, so we've got our two by two set and we're gonna be running our Y stick concept. Now we run Y stick or F stick and depending on what I call, it tells everybody else what the routes they're gonna run. In this case, we're running our Y stick, so that tells the F and the L that they are running their hitches backside. Now this is a constant in all of our quick game, and the reason why is I'm not smart enough to teach this guy, my quarterback, to read the Mike linebacker, and if the Mike linebacker pushes to the right, then he's going to the left. If the Mike linebacker goes left, he goes right, and then he has to find everything. I don't like that. I think that's too difficult for a kid. I like to teach my kid, listen, you're going to come up to the line of scrimmage, you're going to check pre-snap do we have hitches if we have hitches you're going to catch turn to throw the ball all day i don't give a damn what they do defensively i don't care if you never run the concept side as long as you have pre-snap read over here you take it because eventually that's going to get them to force to come over and it's going to open it up the front side so let's just say they don't like this back side then we front side we've got our stick concept and the r has a mandatory outside release and it has to outside release and the reason being, he wants the outside release and make that corner turn his hips and run with them so that it opens up the flat route. Because if he goes inside of them, then his, the corner's eyes can go to that quarterback, and that's how you get your run. I mean, your, the corner's eyes can go to the running back, and that's how you get that running back killed if you throw it to the flat. Y stick, the Y has the hitch route, and we don't overcomplicate it. It's four steps forward, and then you're turning inside, showing hands. And the running back has a shoot route. You can go swing, but we're kind of gearing toward the shoot because it forces this corner to make a decision. Is he going to jump it, jump it, which opens up the vertical behind him, or is he just going to let that go and try to rally to it? And the quarterback, all you were doing is you were reading the man that's head up to inside the stick route. So it would be this backer right here. When you catch the ball uh, out of the snap, you take that one rocker step. If he is, if this backer is just sitting, then you throw it to the back. If this backer flies out to the running back, then you just throw it to the Y. It's a nice, easy pitch and catch. So we're running our stick concept out of our two by two. This Y stick, here's our Y right here. So he's got the stick, he's got the outside release, the back is coming to the flat, and backside we have hitches. Now, this hitch is dead. But the quarterback could have thrown this, but that is a far throw for him. He wasn't comfortable with it, so he decided to stick with the stick route. Now, this guy right here is a safety. He is not the guy head up to inside that we are reading. That is this linebacker right here. So the quarterback has taken his one step. He is seeing what this guy is doing. Is he flying to the stick or is he flying to the flat? And then he's going to make his read based off of that. Notice how that backer flies to the running back. So he just waits a half a second until that stick route opens up, throws it, and that's, now that's a four-yard gain that turns into an 11-yard gain that is super easy, and that is why I love this concept. So as you can tell, we now have a three-by-one to the field, and we're still running our stick concept. And again, we can still run it based on the wide receiver that we tag it with. In this version, we're going to keep keep it simple. We're going with the Y stick. And remember, that says, okay, if the Y is to your side, you're running the stick route. If the Y is away from you, then you are running our pre-snap hitches. In this case, you got the L running his hitch. Remember, the quarterback, is that's his first thought. On any quick game, I'm looking to see, do I have the hitch route? If yes, catch, turn, and throw. If not, then I go backside, and we've tagged it with Y stick, so the Y has got the stick route, the R has got the mandatory outside release, and now it's the F that has the flat route. Quarterback is still reading the flat player, which the guy that's head up to inside the stick, which is this linebacker. If he sits on the stick route, then he's going to throw the flat. 
If he flies out to the flat route, then he's going to throw the stick. If the quarterback messes up, and this is the beautiful thing, is every route that we build has an, what I like to call an oh shit route. So if he messes up, then he is going to swing his eyes back to the running back, and that's his oh shit. And his thought process is this. Oh shit! And then he just throws it. This is what I love about this route because it has built-in hots, or what I like to call oh shits. Quarterback sees down here, it's three over three. We don't have the numbers. That is that is not in our favor. But he knows that this guy right here is his hot or his oh shit. So as you can tell, he takes a step, notices the rush, and then just dumps it off to his back. And that is not even a yard throw. And we got 21 yards based off of that really quick throw. Last way we run our stick concept is out of our two back set. And as you can tell, we have it. And nothing changes but the F's route. So the quarterback comes up. He knows that we're running Y stick. So backside away from the Y, you've got your hitch route. And remember, he's got it. He's going to throw it all day. If not, he's going to come front side. Now the y, the F is running the shoot route to that side. So to the quarterback, that looks just like the stick route out of our three by one. Front side, we've got the stick, we've got the outside release, and we've got the shoot route. And the quarterback is still reading the backer or the guy head up to inside the Y or the stick route. If he chases the flat, then you throw the stick. If he just sits there, then you throw the flat. It is a simple read for the quarterback, and that's what I love about this uh, play. It is the same regardless of the formation. So here we go. We're in our two-back set. We're running Y stick. This is the guy we were reading. He could have thrown the hitch backside, but I think this guy right here kind of scared him because he didn't know if he was coming or if he could have dropped back. So he stayed on this side. Now watch. This uh, linebacker right here stays on the stick route, so then the quarterback knows. He sits on the stick. I'm throwing it to the running back. And as you can tell, that's a nine-yard gain and a very simple throw. So there you have it, coaches. Those are the different ways we run our Y stick concept. If y'all do anything different, please leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. I want to get better at this because it's such a vital part of our offense. And before you go, please click this link right here. I put out a free ebook. It's our based on our one back power RPO. And if you, I just wanted to give it to you because I know I get a lot of emails asking about that. And y'all have been so great and supportive of this channel that I want to give back to you. And until next week, coaches, remember, let's continue to master the spread, score points, and have fun.